Hi, I'm Jasper Fox Sr. What you're about to watch is our edumercial or education commercial for um, my class. Regents Earth Science can be challenging for students in the eighth grade. So I asked some of my students this year um, who just recently took the 2012 Regents exam to share some of their um, experiences of what it was like in my classroom. So let's turn it over to them and hear what they have to say. Hi, incoming eighth graders. I'm so happy to tell you about Mr. Fox's class because it was a wonderful experience. We use Castle a lot. I would always use it when I was studying for a test or for any quizzes. It was very easy to use, especially the practice question sets. It was very helpful too because a lot of the questions you would see on the tests. It had a whole bunch of questions from different regions from the past years and we just quizzed ourselves on those with homework and take home quizzes and I thought that was really helpful because it prepared me for the regions and um, we also did regions review where we reviewed all the topics we've learned in the past years and I think that really helped us for regions because usually I would forget something for Mr. Fox's class and with regions review it helped me remember everything we learned. Another thing that was really nice is you could email Mr. Fox whenever you can over spring break, the weekend, or even on a school day, if you had any questions, and it responded very quickly. Whenever I had a problem with Castle or a project that was due, all I had to do was email Mr. Fox right away, and he would answer as soon as possible, and it would just really help, because I wouldn't have to wait until the next day just to speak to him about something. Office hours were also a big help. That's when Mr. Fox would set a specific time and we could actually go and talk to them online. Instead of staying after school, you would just go on the computer around 7 or 8 o'clock and he would have an online review session. So if you couldn't make it for some reason at, in school, you could go and always take it at home. Also in class, we made screencasts, which were very helpful because if you didn't know a lot on a subject, you could always do a screencast on it, which you would have to know everything about it because you would have to talk to the, your audience, which is people who view on the computer, and we also got to put them up on YouTube, so I found that very cool. Making your own screencast in class was helpful because at the end of the year for the finals you could watch them and review the subjects that maybe you didn't know so much. Mr. Fox also made videos on his blog. He had different videos about note taking, and the notes um, were so much more helpful than doing in class because sometimes teachers go a little bit ahead and you get left behind. So with the videos, I was able to keep it at my own pace and if I didn't understand something, I could go back. Mr. Fox made many screencasts about what you're doing that day and the nice thing about those is that you could play them again and pause them as many times as you want to take notes. And then the next day in school, you would know what you were doing that day. Mr. Fox always post some cool field trip that he would go on over the weekend. So we could watch those, comment on them, and it was really helpful because some of the things we were learning in class were in the videos, so you got to see that what you're learning in class pertains to real life, and it's really cool because it helps you remember some of the things. Mr. Fox's class was a really great year for me, and he was a really great teacher, and I think without, like, if he hadn't been my teacher, I don't know how I would have passed any of this. Thanks so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in September.